bitches, welcome to therapy. Mimi here. And Kiki. And today, it's really us. Woo! We were hanging over by unicorns and skeletons. I wish. The unicorns, yes. Um, but today, we are doing another part of our Halloween of Struggle Home Book. Where we're going to talk about our favorite scary movies. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh. But so we're gonna just take turns. We're gonna one of us will name a movie, and all three of us will just talk about what we like, if we like it, what we don't like. Yeah, it gets creepy every time we do these videos. Girl, you gonna get dragged to hell. <laughs> okay. Every time we make creepy videos up here, shit happens. You wanna know why? Lit. Lit man. Ah, that's where hell's at. <laughs> like literally cool. something just growled in the door in the room over from us. <laughs> the bathroom. They're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that shit tight it back. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started. Okay. Ginny, you name the first movie. What? The new Annabelle movie. Well, you know. I literally, I, mean, I haven't seen it either. I literally screamed in the movie theater. It was so scary. Yeah. Weapons of Annabelle. It's basically um talking about how do you remember the first one? It basically just takes it back and it tells you how Annabelle became um cursed from the little doll. So the name of the title is Annabelle Creation for a reason. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it was really scary though. That there's some parts that I was like this ball ball, and then I literally screamed in the movie. I was glad there was somebody. Okay, she is. Okay. She doesn't get to pick any more movies because she picked one that we haven't seen, so we can't talk about it. Yeah, really. <laughs> but that's my favorite movie. You said it's about my favorite movie, and that no, was I said just pick. Movie. I said just say it, movie. And I did, bitch. I said Annabelle. I'm sure you didn't want to see Annabelle. Okay, not the only two. There's the only two losers that. Okay. Anyway, Megan <laughs> pick a <laughs> Megan pick a movie. It can be any scary movie. It has. It doesn't be. Good. I'm not gonna do one of the new ones. I'm gonna go. Roll bet. Um, I would say like all the screams because all the screams because I, I love all of them. Everybody I them. like the first one the best. The rest of them are okay. I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna not watch them. I don't like the third. No, the second one. I don't like the second one. Where, yeah, the second one's kind of weird. But I like the rest of them. But mm. I do like all of them. But the first one is. Well, I think that might be other than Freddy Krueger. That might be my favorite scary movie for real. Mm. Because. There's just something about the fact that they didn't hide the gore, mm -hmm. and it broke all the rules. Well, I mean, it broke the rules, but it also followed the rules. And no, it was Freddy Krueger. Huh? Is that about Freddy Krueger? No, we're talking about Scream. No, Freddy Krueger. I think what the hell got to jump that far? <laughs> <laughs> no, Scream, because in the original, like. It's what you expect out of a scary movie because everyone talks about the rules and so do they in the movie. But like, and but there was a twist that you kind of saw coming but never saw coming. Yeah. And it was just amazing. Mhm. Mm well, we already said Scream, but I, I'm a big fan of Freddy Krueger and the Nightmare on Elm Street movies are, you know, the shit. Mm -hmm. But my favorite Freddy Krueger movie is Freddy vs. Jason. Mm -hmm. That is the most mm -hmm. badass movie I think has ever been made. Mm -hmm. Because oh, I'm not a big fan of Jason Voorhees because he just seems like uh, why did he die a kid and come back as an adult? Yeah. But Freddy with his I want the, you know, you can buy on Amazon, like, the claw hand. I want to buy one of those. And then they also have necklaces with, like, tiny But you can buy, like, the rip, with, like, real blades, not plastic blades. And I want it just for, like, <sighs> oh, I was uh, really happy to And I love the fact that Freddy, like, you think you're finally safe from everyone else. Mm -hmm. And you go to sleep and get all nice and cuddled in and... Mm -hmm. That comes back for you. He comes and gets in your dreams. Mm -hmm. That movie literally made me scared to go to sleep. Yeah, for real. Do y'all know the song? Let's sing it. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. Five, six, greater crucifix. Seven, eight, 
stay up late night and never sleep again. I swear, Freddy Krueger, Mama, my mom actually watched Freddy Krueger when she was pregnant with me, and everyone was like, oh, she's gonna be cursed or whatever, and then, like, it turns out, like, that's my favorite. That's weird. He's my favorite, and then Ghostface or Scream mm -hmm. is my second favorite. I, mine terrifies me, but my favorite is Scream. And I'm so excited for the new one to come out. Mm -hmm. Come out today? Week? This says the 28th. This is today. It probably comes out the night at midnight. <gasps> you guys. Oh, when they just see it. I know. Um, but, okay, the first one creeped me out. But the second one is what really creeped me out. Mm -hmm. Because not only did we ride a school bus, True. but we also live where there's a lot of cornfields. Uh -huh. And we, me and Jenny worked in cornfields. Yeah, like, like you would hear the wind, there would be in the cornfield, every and you'd hear the wind blow it, and you, like, you literally thought, like, oh my god, he's fucking coming to get me. <laughs> <laughs> every time we'd be out there breaking corn, mm -hmm. when the wind blows through the corn, it sounds like when he's running through it in a movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, So we'd girl. be breaking corn, and we'd hear, like, the wind blow through the around, and, and we'd be, we would up. literally get shook. <laughs> Literally. And like we would break faster just to get out the corn meal. Yeah, like it was really creepy. And then that on top of children with the corn. I was about to say too. Children in the corn. It was like supposed to be creepy too. But like that one was but she was creepers because all I could be, and, and still to this day, every time I hear wind rustling corn stalks, I think oh, of Jeepers creepers. creepers. Yeah. And then like the second one's pretty good too. Um, that was I like, the second one. Well, yeah, I mean, the first one. I like the first one. That one boy on there, he's my Theory. favorite. Yeah, he's my favorite. But I do like the second one, and I'm really looking forward to what they're going to do with the third one. I'm really looking forward yeah, to that. Yeah, because it's supposed to be like a mashup of the first Theory's the sister one. and the little the dad, boy's dad and brother. Are they supposed to be one after him? The three of them are supposed to team up to, like, finally put an end to it. Finally like, get ready or something like that, is what I heard. We have got to go. Yes, yes. do. That's okay. Megan, name the next one. I'm surprised nobody has said this yet. Um, and it's the next Saw. <gasps> All of them. Yeah. Every single one of them. Okay. I love how gory it is. Uh -huh. I and love I think, it. Okay, the only thing I have to say, there's a new one coming out too, yeah, Jigsaw. Yeah. We have to watch that one. But um, the only thing I don't like about Saw is, I guess it's kind of incredible, but they made so many. Yeah. Just like Halloween and Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Trigger! <laughs> no, I mean, they're good, but it's like There's the same a lot. story over and over again. But you've seen new. Yeah. It is ways to kill people. I do, like, like, I do like the fact that it's a new it's idea. It's everything. creative. Mm -hmm. They can and they, it's not like most of these movies where they get off subject. They basically stayed on point. Like a lot of these movies, like the Fast Furious movies, mm -hmm. they get crazy. Like it started off racing cars and now they're fighting people. Like what the fuck Yeah, is now they're like on? military. Yeah. yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> but it's all, they kept it to like the storyline. And the also, thing. most horror movies, is like you see two minutes of gore and then ten minutes of story. Yeah. yeah more, it's more gory. But Saw is like, we're gonna gross you out the whole time. Yeah, I love, I love gore. And I really do love all the new additions that Zixxaw comes up with. Mm -hmm. like, like, the one where she was up in the like air, and then every time she went down, it like cuts through and comes down. There was oh, one, yeah. okay, I don't remember which one it was, but like there was a guy and a girl and they were in these like glass boxes and they each had to cut like a piece of their oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because whoever got to a panel first got to live. The fat dude started cutting his stomach and then a girl cut her, her arm because there was like a bone in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because her bone, oh. it'd be a heavier than... And you know which one is still like is a nightmare? It's from the very first one, that girl was from Ashley. The one that thinks that actually lives. But she like actually had her face messed up, and she still lives. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah that's how about mm -hmm. the contraption that he used? Cause they used that contraption over and over and over. Cause mm -hmm. I guess it was so good. I love that contraption. Cause like just think, like you don't get this off your face. The one part off. that always stays in my mind was when I think I saw is the begin the very first one when the guy cuts his foot off. Uh, yeah, it was that's like off. every time I think I saw, I go right to that. Because thing. that one never like it never it shows you what happens at the end. Yeah, and then and, and then all the other movies kind of go back to that part. Yeah, they're all based movies on movies where that. they all go back to that part. Mm -hmm. And then I'm still thinking like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. You know what's something. really cool though? Saw, the first one, I know they're a franchise now, but the very first one was like a college film student project. Those two guys that were in the film, mm -hmm. they were like, they worked, they made that movie in 
college film class. That's all? Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. They got like low budget actors. That's why the majority of the movie took place in that one room because they didn't have a big budget. They had uh a lot of messed up things going on. And then, <laughs> but then they took that and it's now like a 13, they, they, yeah, 14, 13 part 14 franchise. Mm-hmm. They got a lot of movies out of it. And then they got another one coming up. Mm-hmm. So Jigsaw. Okay, good. guys, we have to talk about this one. We just recently went and saw it uh-huh. together. We can talk about the new one and the old one. But it, you guys! Yes. Pennywise the Clown. The dancing the Clown. Dancing the one that's going to crawl out of your closet. Da, da, da. Ah! And I'm telling you, if your kids are dressed like that at Halloween, I will duck the kids in the face. <laughs> I drop kick the cow. Hello. Or the cow. Not hit that out. Hello. I do not deal. The penny, the old it is more friendly looking. The no, it's not. Is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, okay the is. new it is creepy the, as the well. The creature, <laughs> the clown himself is creepier. But, and the storyline are almost exactly the same, which I love. I'm glad they didn't change it and make it bad. You know what I also found out though? On the new one, Billy and that one girl fall like each other kisses. Mm-hmm. And actually, if you read the book, they actually do kiss in the book. Yeah, I know. They're, but in the original, they like cut that part out. Because Mama, well, she's read the book, she's telling me about that. But I hope they don't change the storyline too much and make. Because in, the, the, second part in the second part, they're supposed to be adults, right? Like, mm-hmm. in the first they're going to do the, the same thing like they did. Because in the first one, it was just a four hour long movie. But in this one, I guess well, it was all two parts. Like it was part one, and then it's part. But two it all came out at the same time. Yeah, I think so. It was all released at, when it went to theaters. It was you sat in theater for four hours. Yeah. Um, but when I mean, obviously, it was two parts when you got it because VHS tapes could only yeah, hold so much. they could only hold like a two hours, two, two uh-huh. hours I think. But um, what I was gonna say is, um, they're gonna like follow the craze now of like making you wait another year. I know. I heard that they were gonna try like it was like It's gonna be years. even it's gonna be even creepier. Before. It's supposed to come out twenty nineteen? I think that's what it is. Uh, years from the beginning of like that's gonna suck. Like I don't know if I can wait that long. You're gonna have to. Like it's gonna be really good. But though. they say the part two is gonna even be even be even more creepier and darker. I don't know. Oh, that's no. so creepy. It's, I don't know if it can get any creepier than him when they go down to the sewer and what Crazy girls flying in the air, and he's down there dancing. Like that's creepy as fuck. Oh, yeah. I think it's supposed to come out next year. Is what it said. Oh, I thought. Because then we were over here talking about oh maybe January, you know, messing around. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like 2019, like the beginning of 2019. Oh, maybe it will come out next year. I'd be happy. I'd be happy as hell. But um, what was your favorite part of? Cause she, Jimmy. Screamed like a crazy person. <laughs> I did. It was she got really better. scared. Was really I was scared too, but I when I get scared, I make jokes and try to like. And then people want to laugh at me. Because <laughs> I was screaming. Everyone turned around and looked at her and started laughing at how much she was screaming. It was. Scary, but what was your favorite part though, Megan? When uh, little Georgie got his arm ripped off. <laughs> oh yeah, because I was yeah. to say, in the original Georgie. He, you just saw him get drugged. Well, yeah. You didn't yeah. see him actually get torn apart or anything. Yeah, you didn't see, like, he got his arm torn off. He got, like, he literally grabbed him and drug him into the sewer. Yeah, it was just, hello, Georgie. And then they talked and had the same kind of conversation, but then he just kind of grabbed, when he reached down to take the boat, he just, he just pulled him, him in. Just put him in. But and now, it's like, like so much more. That was a pretty good scene, though. I kind of liked it better when he got his arm. <laughs> Even though it's terrible, I liked it. Okay, but what I was going to say is, the the new it is the original it just hyped up. Mm-hmm. They, like they added more gore and more. Yeah. The clown Pennywise is more prominent as well mm-hmm. because in the original it was like two minutes of Pennywise, ten minutes of like the kids or the adults, whatever. Yeah. And more and then, kind of spread out. The new one's kind of spread out. Like you can see but he's almost more. in every scene. Yeah. yeah. You get to see more Pennywise. I love how they upped up the bathroom scene. Like I really love that. Yeah. That the bathroom scene was good. The bathroom scene when the blood comes up that was really good. But I still can't get out of my head when the little chubby kid falls and Pennywise is sitting there shaking my little arm. But no, like, he's waving with it. And he's like, you know what's funny? We had barbecue ribs last night. Y'all did. You remember what I said though? Cause me, did y'all do it? Y'all do it? No, do it. Oh, but no. me and Megan were talking about the other day in the car that that scene made me think of like you're in a barbecue rib shop. And you're eating your rib, and you see one of your friends, so you pick up your thing, you start waving at him. Mm-hmm. He was like munching on the arm, and then he picked it up and was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> and he had like blood everywhere, it made me think of barbecue ribs. <laughs> and we had those last night. Yeah. 
don't. But I did. I did. I, I like that movie. And I love the little the little boy on there. He's my favorite. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who the the little boy. Is. The little boy from Stranger Things. He's like his last name's Wolfhard. I don't know whose kid he is, but he's like the best fucking kid ever. I love him. He was my favorite. There are there so many sex jokes and shit that they talk about. Like I swear to God, they kids talk about their boys in prison. But I mean, <laughs> Stephen King. Everyone got mad because that 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 character was making a lot of inappropriate jokes. Mm-hmm. But Stephen King in the book, because I've read a lot of his books, he's not afraid of having kids do really fucked up shit. No. So that was in the cussing and shit was in the the book. They mm-hmm. just didn't put it in the original because I liked it. I liked that they actually put in the nineties. There was more like censoring and stuff. Yeah. Now there's now shit different shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that was a really good movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got another one? I do. My all time favorite. I probably watched it almost every single day this week. That's the movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, that movie scares me. Side. Does that part two? <laughs> Part two I do not like as much as I do part one. Part two is alright. The second one, yeah, it's oh, it's okay. Part one, I love it. It makes me cry. It makes me laugh. It makes me everything. It scares me a little bit. <laughs> okay, the part that scares me about that movie, Pet Dare, and literally when these scenes come on, I close my you can actually I close my eyes, I cover my ears, and I try to like ball this whole, uh, like a ball as tight as I can. When Gabe Gage Gage's mom, sister, oh, is on um, scene of like when the mom has flashbacks of her sister or whatever. Yeah. And I know like what her mom, her sister had was like a disease or something, but they like made it so creepy. Like when that she scares me more than anything else in that movie. And when it comes on, I literally like cause the way she talks, the way, the way she, she moves. Is, the way she looks, everything about her just creeps me out. That's also a Stephen King. I love that little boy. I love the little boy, Gage. He's my favorite character on there. And, he'll, and then when he gets hit by the mat truck, I cry every single time. It is really good. Because he's my favorite. But then when he comes back at the end, I love it so much. I play with you. Mommy, Mommy now I'm going to play with you. Dad. And that's no my fair. Favorite. No fair. No, no fair. fair. I love it. It's so adorable. He's just the cutest little thing. Although he's a demon now. Right? <laughs> he's the cutest little thing. And then when he goes, when the dad gets him in the throat and he's just sitting there sliding down the wall, it's so cute. I love it and it makes me even cry because he's dying all over again. It but, makes me uh, cry. Little sh- just a little, you know, side note. If you live anywhere near a road, how about keep an eye on your kids? They yeah. should have been able to stop that. Uh-huh. He yeah, chased yeah. that little boy like half a mile before he got hit by a truck. Like, man, you couldn't run no faster. You couldn't run no faster than a two-year-old. I, I would be like freaking Superman and like, shit. Like diving after my damn young and he either hit. I would like throw my body on top of him like, this hit me, not my kid. That, that, that dad could have caught that son. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why like, wouldn't you pay attention to him anyway? Like why are you just... Like the old man even warned them like there was a lot of yeah. dumb trucks and stuff like that. Yeah, the old man. And that's the second time that little boy about got hit. When they first moved mm-hmm. there, he about got hit. But then the second and time, the, the dad turned around talking to his daughter and they're laughing because her daughter said shit. Uh, pop that little girl in her mouth and go get your damn child. Like, why isn't someone watching the two-year-old run by the road? Mm-hmm. And then they, they, they one of them have to glance, finally fucking glance up. I'm just like, what the fuck? Well, oh, when I'm yeah, outside, about to get killed, you guys. Yeah, when I'm outside, oh, okay, right yeah. my eyes are like, uh-huh. Okay, but anyway, um, without critiquing the characters anymore, do you have another one? Okay, what about the wrong turn movies? Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Those are also very, very gory. Those are very gory and very fucking creepy. I can't go to those the Those are areas like. Anytime areas. I go in the woods, we were like, just talking about this the other night, actually, literally. Anytime I go in the woods, I'm like. I make jokes, I'm like, oh, the wrong corn people are gonna get yeah. us. We did that the other day when we were on dirt roads. We went down this um, down and down and down this dirt road. They had the tree hanging over and everything. Just like when the wrong turn people go, like, oh my god, like some shit from the wrong turn. And the thing about those, no one ever lives. There's never a happy ending. I think one person might have lived. I think the whole, like, one guy. Thing. I think one guy lives. So. Yeah. But there's always, so you think they got away and then nothing. And, uh, you think, and what gets me on those movies sometimes is you think it's the ending, but then something else happens. Mm-hmm. And you just like, what the 
the fuck? Because yeah, I mean, like, you think this person's about to live, like, oh my god, this one bitch, she's about to live, she's about to die. And, and it's something you never expect yeah. something comes up there at all. Every single one of the movies, something like that happens. Like, something happens where you're just like, oh my god, this could work out. And then something but they also have some crazy contraptions, like, so as well. Like, they have some crazy the shit like, that got hid in the woods. Like, where the fuck is y'all find this shit to bury that stuff? <laughs> okay. I think this is the last one we'll talk about. The Final Destination movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, I style dread log trucks to this day. Yeah. Those, those movies have sparked so many fears in me. The bridges, <laughs> log trucks, airplanes, buses, roller coasters, everything that you could possibly ever think Choked of. Choked to death in the shower. <laughs> because, like, you slip on a puddle of water and it gets hung around your neck. Mm-hmm. Like, it makes you think of, like, everything that happens in a daily thing. Like, mm-hmm. if that went this wrong... This could literally kill me right like now. Like, if, if this would have went wrong by one second move, mm-hmm. I'd be dead right now. And then, and then we were right, we were driving, and then that log truck started losing its log. Yeah, me and you were literally driving down the road to Florence. And this log truck in the lane beside us started losing its logs. And we, like, I was like, don't freak <laughs> the fuck out. And then you see, like, those videos and, like, some of... Kids actually getting killed on roller coasters and stuff. Yeah, especially that one little girl who got her hair ripped or something like that. Her scalp? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah she got that scared me. I love roller coasters and I don't think I would ever stop riding them, but it scares me to death now. Like, oh my God. like there's kids that get my hair up or something. <laughs> Like people shoot, like people that like, uh, one person with his shoe fell off and he went to go get it and they like chopped his damn head off. Okay, this is not, I didn't get hurt or anything, but this is just to like, oh you have one too. I have one too. Um, mine was, I was, we were right on one of those things that like goes over the lakes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was low enough down that my leg actually like slapped a tree. Mm-hmm. So like if that would have been like a, ki- a smaller kid or something, they could have broke their leg or something. Yeah. And then you, we were riding the Led Zeppelin, remember? And hers, we were going the up. Seat. We were going up the first hill, and her seat unlocked. The seat unlocked on me. And I, I was like, bitch. <laughs> so like they stopped the coaster and pulled it back out and made sure they were all locked. Yeah, because uh, when that happened, I grabbed that shit down and started screaming, and then they stopped the roller coaster and because they checked it. They have sensors. Sure they have sensors that if they unlock, they'll see. But yeah, her seat, if they, yeah. if, if they're sensors, we were upside down. down. Like, we were upside down, that shit started rising. I was like, oh, hell no. I was holding that bitch. <laughs> but like, if hers, if the sensor hadn't worked, and they would have kept going, because hers was broke, she actually moved to a new seat because mm-hmm. it wouldn't lock. Mm-hmm. Like, I was holding it down until they, like, could stop the thing completely. Yeah. I was, like, holding it. Her seat, the locking between her and, and me holding it, we were, like, both holding it down. Yeah. So it she could have, like, got killed. If and if their sister hadn't been working, they would have not known to stop See, it. See, now every time I get into a roller coaster and they lock it like, down, pull I like pull it, push it, it, pull it, make sure that bitch ain't about to move. Guys, be careful. If you're having fun, please just be careful. I know Double check. At the fair that we went to, that ride that went like that and then turned around and then go back that way. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, like, wouldn't. It was like, it kept, like, going, like, it kept opening. And mm-hmm. I was, like, freaking out. And, like, yeah. at fairs, if, even if you don't fit like you're supposed to, as long as they can get you in there, they don't care. Yeah. A lot of, I, I mean, they don't pay for it. They're going to get you in there. So, like, then you get in there and your thing comes loose or something and then you get slung out. Wasn't well, there a kid that, like, the little total roll one that goes fast? Oh, yeah, so yeah. So, that, like, slung out, out of it. Yeah. That's it. That I do not go to any fairs that is like a pop up mobile fair. Like those. Sh- that or I go to them, but I don't ride the ride. I don't. I like, yeah, I'll go to them and like walk around, the game play some little games or something like that. But I do not ride any rides because what's the point of the rides? Is their pop up rides they scare me. Like the one in Florence doesn't really bother me, but it's like this little because pop-up. they're like for the fresh. Yeah, they're, they're professional, but these little rinky dink like little the ones that Conway that just came pop up, up in like the middle of no. Walmart parking lot every once in a while. Like, come on. Well, we've got off topic plenty, but these are these are some of our favorite scary movies. I'm sure there's plenty more out there. Mm-hmm. Um, Chucky. and you guys are gonna oh Chucky. I love Bride of Chucky. My that's my favorite. The little doll. Tiffany. <laughs> yes. I love her. I want a Chucky doll so bad. But anyway, leave us a comment below what your favorite scary movie is. What's your favorite? Scary movies. Whoa. But anyway, yeah, leave us a comment of your favorite scary movie down below. Hit that big red subscribe button and tell us you want more of this in your life. Give us a big old thumbs up to tell us you like us because we need that attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and 
All our social media links can be found in the about page and also in the ever moving poster oh, no. banner. Oh no. God, no. get no. But anyway, say bye, Jenny. Bye, Jenny. Go <laughs> go. But anyway, make sure to make an appointment with your with the secretary on your way out.